what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Heads up. This is going to be one of the most important videos I've ever made. Youngsters, pull up. If you know a youngster, be sure to share this with them. It might just save their life. Shots fired at a Pittsburgh house party left two minors dead and eight others wounded. Police said it happened on Sunday around 2.30 a.m. 50 shots fired in and outside of the house. Eight separate crime scenes in and about the house. Police say that other people who were injured had broken bones, some of them from jumping out of the windows, trying to escape. When I watched the video, I could tell right there it was trouble. Like all of those people compact inside of a house. A lot of times when people go places, they look for the entrance. I look for the exit. I'm always moving with my head on a swivel because I'm thinking if something go down, how, how do I escape? If I'm with somebody, how do we escape? I would never be at a party like that, or any type of gathering like that, 200 people that tight, and I'm in the middle. Something go down, it's going to be hard for you to get up out of there. I'm going to be close to an exit. Easy in, easier out. I remember growing up and I would hear my mom say, be careful of the company you keep. And as I raised my own kids, I would tell them the same thing. Choose your friends wisely. And I would go a step further and say, choosing your friends wisely is not enough. You got to be so good at picking your friends that your friends got to be good at picking friends. You got to be so good, so sure of your friendship that your friend, you're sure that your friend is good at picking friends because otherwise it could cost you your life. For example, you hop into a car. You and your buddies, y'all going to the weed house. You're going to buy $200 worth of weed. You get there. And instead of buying the weed or selling you the weed, the dealer decides, him and his buddies decide, they're going to rob you of your $200. But that's not it. They're going to also just kill you and burn your bodies. This happened for real, fam. This was a true case. Teenagers murdered. We're talking 16, 17 year old kids just going to buy some weed, going on a weed run and end up getting killed by the dealer. You would think, ain't no way, man, he's just going to buy some weed, $200 worth of weed. Ain't nobody going to kill us over no $200. Yes, they will, fam. These fools so stupid, they'll kill you over what they think you might have. And you may not have anything. They don't care. Some of these dudes, they just don't care. I mean, ain't even ain't got a heart at all. No heart, no conscience. No love whatsoever for themselves. So if they ain't got no love for themselves, they don't care what happened to their own body. They don't care if their own body is put into a cage or a grave. What do you think they're going to think about you? Another example, a young lady is 18 years old. She's an honor roll student. She's about to graduate. Where well, she just graduated high school, about to go to college. She lives in a very upscale neighborhood, Memorial, in the Houston area, if you know anything about Memorial. That's where I live. She's at a house party with some friends. A friend of her friend is playing with a gun. The gun goes off. She's struck in the head and she dies. 
and she's buried the following week with all of her and her family's hopes, dreams, and aspirations. There will be no more graduations. There will be no weddings. There will be no children. There will be no anniversaries. There will be no taking care of mom and dad and making sure they're all right as they age. This is how quick she lost her life. This girl did everything right for 18 years. And just at a party, just having a good time at a party, she wasn't even playing with the gun. This fool playing with the gun. Gun goes out, boom, dead. You gotta be so good at picking your friends that your friends are good at picking friends. It's people out there that want your life, fam. Some of them intentionally want your life, literally. They wanna take your life away. And many of them want to take your life away by their reckless behavior. It may not be intentional, but because they behave in a reckless manner, your life can end up in peril. You put yourself at risk by the company you keep. You resemble who you assemble. That's why when your, your friend have an op, that op looks at you as an op. Because, oh, you know what? You resemble him. You know, you hanging with him. And so they automatically hide at you because they feel like if you're in the car and they're in the car and they're coming to get him, you can get it too. Shouldn't have been with him. You got to be very careful of the company you keep. House parties, I don't do. I don't like house parties. Very seldom will I go to one. I only have like maybe three people in this entire city whose house party that I would attend because I know that they vet the people very well who comes into their house. A lot of times people have house parties. The homeowners don't even know who's inside of their house. Strays just walking through the door. And then sometimes your friends invite friends and they come over. They got a chip on their shoulder. They got a gun in their waist. They ready to do something. You got to be very, very careful with who you allow into your personal space and what circles you decide to get into. Hanging around people who beefing with everybody, who got ops, who got a bad understanding, something bad gonna happen. And if you got a bad understanding already, you got to do yourself a favor by not hanging around the other people with bad understandings because somebody got to have some sense. The two damn fools ain't going to make it, man. They just not going to make it. Sometimes you see two damn fools in a relationship together. They can't make it. Somebody got to have some sense. Sometimes you got two fools in a relationship and they, they fight each other all the time. They drink and they smoke together and they get all raggedy up together, and sometimes they last 30, 40, 50 years, but what are they producing along the way? What type of energy are they putting out there? What kind of kids are they reproducing? What type of kids are they giving to the world? You got to consider all of this type of stuff, man. Two damn fools ain't going to make it. They can't make it. Somebody got to have some sense, and thank God, along my journey, I was smart enough to surround myself with a few people who had more sense than me. Now, whoever squeezed the trigger and killed those youngsters, they will be brought to justice. And it's a shame because here we go again, multiple families affected by senseless violence, just senseless violence. Nevertheless, they're out of here for the next 20, 30 years, depending on how young they are. But they're out of here. Nobody wants those type of people on the streets. Somebody that reckless will pull out a gun and just start shooting people, killing minors. Oh, America is really a wild place. They don't, they don't care about minors getting killed, but it's gotta be government sanctioned. So whoever did this, they didn't get the pass. They didn't get the memo. They're going down. Fast. Say it with me, fam. Play stupid games. 
Win stupid prizes. No more talk. What the haters talking about?